Welcome. In this new series of short movies, we'll be showing you the skills and processes that are used here at British Motor Heritage to make the body parts for your classic. In this movie, we'll take a look at the floor standing vertical welders which, along with the hanging weld guns, are at the heart of the production of our body shells and replacement panels. Both of these manufacturing methods use a technique called spot welding. When the operator presses the foot switch, two copper electrodes are brought together by compressed air and an electric current is passed through the tips at the point of contact. While the voltage is quite low, the current is very high, typically between 5 and 10,000 amps. Heat is generated in the weld because the combined resistance of the steel panels and the interface between them is relatively greater than the resistance in the copper electrodes. The heat is high enough to melt the steel at the point of contact and so weld the pieces together. Welds are made at the position specified on the original design drawings. Our vertical welders are typical of those used by motor car manufacturers from the mid 50s until the introduction of robots as we moved into this century. They can be set up with different shaped arms and tips to accommodate a variety of panel assemblies. And some can even handle currents as high as 15,000 amps for welding thicker steel like that found in these mini subframes. The vertical welder uses compressed air to bring the tips together, an electric current and a constant supply of chilled water. Each job requires the welder to be set to the levels and times appropriate to the type and gauge of the material. The welder is controlled by a microprocessor. The current, its duration and the overall time that the pieces are held together are independently programmed. Parts produced by this process may be components of a larger assembly or a finish ready to go for painting with electrophoretic primer and then stocked or dispatched to a heritage approved specialist. In the next movie we'll show you a more traditional skill, one that we still use in the manufacture of bonnets.